All right, good evening everyone and welcome to tonight's Board of Education meeting. The date is Tuesday, June 26, 2018. And I would appreciate all in attendance that you turn off your cell phones as this meeting is being recorded. Ellen, can you please do our roll call? Thank you, Chairperson Granado. Good evening, everyone. Mr. Cassio? Good evening, present. Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Present. Mr. Healy? Here. Ms. McCurdy? Here. Ms. Moon? Here. Mr. Morris? Here. Mrs. Paradise? Present. Vice Chairperson, Mr. Hill? Here. Chairperson, Mrs. Granado? Present. And Weathersfield High School student representative, Mr. Justin Bianchi? Longer. Graduated. <laughs> he, he graduated. <laughs> He's on a all beach somewhere. <laughs> all right, board members, I invite all of you to stand up and lead us each other in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great, thank you. Mr. Emmett, I don't think we have any recognitions tonight. Uh, no staff student recognition this evening, Mrs. Granato. Okay, so next on tonight's agenda is the approval of the minutes of our regular Board of Ed meeting on June 12, 2018. Are there any corrections? Okay, seeing none, may I have a motion to approve these minutes? So moved. A second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? I abstain. Abstain. So noted. Okay, did you get those, Ellen? Yes. Those minutes are approved. Now, if there's anyone wishing to make a public comment, please come on up to the podium and state your name and address. And may I remind you that you have a five minute limit. No, right, right over there. But anyway, I'm here to ask about and get my thoughts about school Before safety. you start, can I ask you to state your name oh, and address? Betsy Brown, 191 Garden Street, Weathersfield. Thank you. Yep. And I wrote a few things down, which um, otherwise I ramble. I'm here to talk about safety measures for our schools and children in our schools. I have attended a meeting in Greenwich, Connecticut with Senators Murphy and Blumenthal. I also attended the march in Washington, D.C., spearheaded by the high school students from Parkland, Florida. I agreed with much of what they were fighting for. However, I realized it would be a long time, if ever, that their wishes would come true. I am here tonight to ask your board about metal detectors and other measures to keep a tragedy from happening here. None of the other towns in the last 19 years expected it could happen in their town. They were all, quote, very nice towns. It can happen anywhere and until things change, if ever, this is who we have become. My generation and my children's generation were never afraid of dying while in school. I don't think there's a child in the USA after a certain age who doesn't think about this at some point. Until and unless things change, it is up to us to keep our children and grandchildren alive. I just wonder if anything is in the works or whether anybody thinks it should be. Okay. I'd love to see something because as much as I hate it, I think, you know, we better than anybody with 26 dead in Newtown. And I had a grandson at the time who was eight. He was afraid to go to the bathroom in his school. And I think the children might feel that, you know, they've all gone through metal detectors at airports as part of their lives. And unfortunately, children dying is part of their lives. And I'm thinking as much as any town hates to do this, because quote, we're different, they might feel safer and they might actually be safer. And whether, um, I don't think Army teachers, like I said, I taught school for three years. I'd be the last one you'd wanna have, have a gun. And plus teachers don't train for that. And uh, 
but whatever it takes to make the children feel safer and to hopefully keep more of them alive is what I'm in favor of. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else? Okay, Mr. Emmett, you have communications to share? I do, thank you, uh, Mrs. Granado. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Friday night featured absolutely beautiful weather for the commencement exercise for the class of 2018. I wish all of our graduates the best of luck in their future endeavors and hope that they find success and prosperity in whatever they do. Uh, the end of the school year allows for everyone to take a breath and recharge their batteries. Um, while it seems like things are quiet, uh, we have a lot going on over the course of the summer. We're currently working to uh, fill positions for retirements and resignation. Uh, we are in the process of beginning the summer cleaning process at all of our schools throughout the district and already planning for the 2018-19 school year. Uh, the status of the phase one study is as follows. Uh, Malone and McBroom has received from the district the 2016 NESDEC uh, study. That's the baseline study that we did back in 2016. They've received the PSIS enrollment data from the years 2012 to 2017. I've provided historical capital improvement data and building capacity data, and I've also completed the Department of Public Health live birth data request and submitted that documentation to Malone McBroom. The facility study RFP has gone out to bid. The bid process uh, is currently open and will close at the end of this week. Uh, we're hoping to open bids uh, on or around July 10th. Uh, building plans are currently being gathered for scanning, uh, so we were over on the second floor at Marsh Street where it's about 100 degrees all the time. Um, and what uh, is taking place now is these plans, which are the old Mylar plans, which are, are huge, are being digitized and scanned so that we will have permanent uh, digital records, which is great for the future. Um, I'll certainly keep you updated across the summer as this uh, project continues. Um, we are putting the finishing touches on the new district website. Um, I, I expect that the new website will be up within the week. Um, it's going to feature easier navigation and have a more intuitive field. We've uh, brought the web design in-house uh, as opposed to contracting with an outside vendor as we have in the past. Not only did we tap into our own talent here in Weathersfield, but we'll save the district $10,000 this year. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and with that, that's communications this evening. Okay, thank you. Any questions for Michael, Diane? Like, are we to have some parents and kids like beta test that? Because you know the state rolls out new websites for their agencies and stuff, and no one tests it. And then, lo and behold, it's not really user friendly. And yeah, it's hard to navigate. Great, great so question. Great question. We have that beta tested by maybe some of us, some parents. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I can absolutely send the link out and uh, have everybody take a look at it. My intention also is before it goes live is to do a school messenger so parents can dig right into it. Obviously for those parents that are going to be registering their kids over the course of the summer, it'll be helpful. So yeah, I can absolutely send the link out to you. Great. Anyone else with a question? Okay, thank you, Michael. So we'll continue and do our action items. We have two motions tonight. Polly, would you read um, recommended motion 6A? Uh, move that the Weathersfield Board of Education approve revised policy 3100 uh, budget procedures and line item transfers. Okay. Uh, just to remind everybody, this is a second reading, so we've all had the opportunity to look at it. I'll second that. Second. All right. Any discussion? Okay, let's vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? No. That motion 6A passes. And Polly, going out with a bang, would you read 6B for us? <laughs> Big night. <laughs> <laughs> Move that the Board of Educa Wethersfield Board of Education approve revised policy 3300 purchasing policy. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion on this? All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion 6B passes. Okay, we have our Board of Ed meetings held. We had a correct council. Again, Polly, just keep going. All right. Um, other than approving their, uh, their budget and budget revisions lately, I just had, sorry, I have my notes and now I lost them was not, they haven't 
uh, they had an annual meeting in May, and um, uh, they've introduced a lot of new policies and a lot of new programs and that type of thing. Uh, their, their biggest issue right now um, is the fact that they have two schools that they had started, um, the Aerospace and Engineering School and the Anna Grace School. And um, so the, the uh, state is, uh, has indicated that they will not, give, they will not uh, reimburse uh, CREC for their um, past construction costs unless uh, they, CREC comes to an agreement with the state and the DAS with, um, as a, um, pertains to the construction of the, uh, of the building. So basically the state wants to take over the construction of uh, you know, the, the general uh, handling of the construction. CREC doesn't love that idea, so they're working on coming to an agreement at this point. So that's about it. Okay, thank you. And John Cassio, our parade committee. Thank you. Yes, uh, we met on June 20th, and the parade committee was very pleased with the outcome of this year's parade. Not only did we have the theme for those individuals who honored uh, or served our country, but also serve our community. And um, the uh, feedback from everyone is that it, it was tremendous. They thought that the involvement, uh, the day, and the honoring of the veterans, uh, past and present, was uh, well done, not only in the parade, but also at the cemetery. Um, they enjoyed the involvement of the sixth grade posters. For those that got to see them in the council chambers, it was uh, something new, but I thought everyone seemed to uh, go down and uh, mention it to uh, the Parks and Rec office. They really enjoyed seeing them in the office, as well as the uh, eighth grade Silas Dean recipient of uh, the award. So the budget is uh, in place for next year and we're starting to work on it. Also uh, working on uh, town-wide, I believe the town council is putting together a veterans committee in which it will encompass not only the Veterans Day celebration, but also the Memorial Day parade so for our community. So. Oh, nice. We're thinking out of the box and moving forward. Good. So that's it. Thank you, John. Any questions for John? Okay, thank you again. Um, our next meeting scheduled really is the Board of Ed meeting and it's on August 28th. Um, so we'll move on. Any unfinished business from the board here? No? Okay. And Justin's not here for Life at the High School, but we have some board comments. Anybody with a board comment tonight? Kevin? No, Madam Chair, I just, uh, Ms. Brown came up and talked about school safety, and that's um, something that is obviously a high priority for this board. And I appreciate your comments and your willingness to come out here tonight. And I think one thing, I think um, the board and the administration, especially Mr. Emmett and his leadership, um, a number of years ago, post Sandy Hook, the state of Connecticut put in several mandates on schools and school systems about, you know, trying to make these schools safer. And how do we do that? Um, for instance, the type of glass we use outside of the buildings, what kind of doors we use to lock people in and out. Um, Weathersfield has done a terrific job. We have, uh, we have basically, I believe, I'm sure I'm correct me if I'm wrong, we've met each of those mandates and have gone <coughs> beyond them. Not every school district in the state can say that. Uh, in fact, we are a minority, the fact that we have done all these things and have gone above and beyond. Uh, we've, um, Hal, even uh, our director of security is indispensable at this point. We rely on him so much. So uh, I thank you for your comments and I hope uh, you, you can um, feel a little bit better that this board not only doesn't take it very seriously, but we're acting on it as well. the types of doors we use, how, how people get in and out. Uh, we have a system in, in, called a Raptor system. Before you come in, you've got to give them your ID. You've got to be given a, ba a background check before you're allowed into a building. And it would fit us with a badge. You know, we actually can't do a conversation oh, back and forth. 
But um, I can assure you, and if. Uh, can, can I just jump in here? One thing. One thing that the one thing, ma'am, that the uh, this, the administration does a great job with our officer, uh, our specialists, is that we're constantly evaluating social media, the kind of danger from within and without. We're on, you know, we endeavor to do that and communicate with parents about looking for warning signs and, and talking. That's an integral part of it. As much as how how hardened we make these schools, obviously, because a lot of these issues, as you've seen in the in the media have been generated from actually from within the school, sometimes with contact from recent graduates or not so recent graduates. So we've been really on to uh, uh, superintendent and his staff have been very conscious and very eager to, to work on that, not just to sit there in place, but to be actively engaged in what's going on. And there's a lot of, as you can imagine, there's a huge amount of uh, communications going on all sorts of platforms. Uh, so we're trying to do the best we can on that and the more education and the more involvement for the community on these Kind of things with both law enforcement and the school is really gonna. It's an ongoing issue. It's deterrence like anything else So I just wanted to make sure you were recognized for that effort okay. For Congress. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Anyone else for public comment? I almost skipped it over. Um, skipped over it. Anybody else for public comment? I'd like to come up to the podium. We're all set. Okay, so move on. Are there board comments? John. Yes, I have uh, one comment that I um, I know it was coming, but I I'm happy, but I'm sad, and that is Polly Moon. Um, is deciding that she's had enough of the Board of Ed. <laughs> <laughs> but no, having said that, Polly, you're going to be missed. Um, over the last past years, uh, as colleagues on the board, your support and wisdom have uh, put us in a new adventure for the Board of Ed and got us to the level we are today. Um, 
you know, lives go beyond boards of education. Um, we have uh, friendship, and uh, I wish you the best, and that's something that we'll never lose forever and ever, and uh, our families are connected with our children. So with that being said, thank you, Polly. You have been a, um, a wonderful board member and a fantastic friend and colleague. Thank you for your service. Thanks, Jen. Anyone else for comment? Let Polly go first. Yeah. <laughs> Does well, anybody else have yeah. to say? I, I, I do. I do. I have but some things. first. <laughs> well, first. <laughs> I also want to make a loud shout out to you, Diane, and, and your committee for an incredible job they did at Safe Grad. Um, mm -hmm. Graduation was outstanding. I mean, I always say we look like Charles Kuralt on the road. It's just an extraordinary celebration down there. But then to let these kids go to a fabulous all-night party, um, it looked easy. The pictures looked fabulous, but the work behind it was Herculean. So on behalf of the board and probably everybody in town, especially the parents, thank you very much. Um, thank you. I'll pass that on to my It was wonderful. Um, and last, I do want to give a sincere thank you to Polly Moon for her passionate service to our board. Um, Polly's leaving the board. She has taken a position as vice chair of the Weathersfield Democratic Town Committee. But Polly, you've been an advocate for all things education and has always been there for our meetings and events. She doesn't hesitate to tell us her opinions, which are based on her research experience and always her heart. Um, Polly makes a serious effort to reach out to the community and to be there to talk with concerned citizens and to assure them that they are being heard. So Polly, you will be missed by the board. You are going on to another position. I have no doubt you'll make your mark on that too. This board wishes you the best, and I don't believe I have to tell you to keep in touch, because I know you will. So thank you very much, Polly. Can I just Go ahead, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Polly has a few words. <laughs> okay, well, so half of what I was gonna say. <laughs> Um, I, I really, um, I wanted to, um, uh, to thank the people that I've been working with for the last uh, couple of years. This has been a great board, and uh, actually I have to say that the, um, uh, the over six years that I've spent on the board, while I can't say I've loved every minute of it, <laughs> um, it has really been rewarding, and, um, it's, and I'm so thankful to have met so many different people and uh, been able to broaden my experience as much as I did. Um, John talks about our, uh, our friendship that actually has gone back longer than either of us would like to uh, admit. And um, so I have appreciated the time that we have spent together, which has actually been on other committees besides this board. And um, I also have to say um, that to Chris that um, I appreciated very much the time that we've spent. We've been on a couple of committees together, and um, uh, I really uh, look forward at, at other times to um, run into you, which probably won't be on the same side. <laughs> well, I, I hope not. I mean, you are going to be the. Yeah, we're different. You've got the second worst job in politics now, which is <laughs> vice chairman right. of a town committee. Like There's lot, but a only lot of worse power. is being the actual chairman. So. <laughs> You put your nose to the grindstone, you can maybe work out your way up to the worst job in politics. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, Diane I, uh, has helped me through um, a couple of years of having to use my, uh, li my iPad here. <laughs> so, um, you know, hopefully the next person who comes in here can now uh, do this a little better than I do. Um, Ginger, we've had a, uh, you know, it's been a good run so far, and... Uh, I've uh, really, I know, not a long period of time, but I've really enjoyed it. Um, I'm hoping when I talk, when I say this to Bobby and, and uh, John, that uh, I will still be able to make the cut for dollars for scholars, um, <laughs> you know, so that we can uh, do it. Depends on the outfit. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, my, uh, my outfits now have changed from, you know, shopping at Talbot's to uh, golf clothes, <laughs> so. <laughs> And um, Elaine, thank you for, we, you and I started out doing this together. Um, we've, I think, uh, made a good balance for each other between uh, you're helping me along as far as uh, my learning curve on curriculum and, and uh, so many of the workings of the 
uh, of the school system because it was a big learning uh, curve. And um, Kevin, we've had some uh, good times. We've <laughs> <laughs> and I thank you for all of your support all of you. this, over these couple of years. And most of all, I really um, want to say thank you to um, Mr. Emmett and to his staff. I think one of the best things that um, I was able to participate in uh, when I came to this board was the um, uh, I think we were doing this job for about a month and we went into the um, uh, the search for a new superintendent and um, and it was a long and arduous process that we uh, uh, that really brought us all close together as a new board and uh, I think one of the best decisions that this board made was to um, uh, was to bring Mr. Emmett onto our team and he's uh, assembled a really terrific group of, uh, of people in central office and I've appreciated uh, so much working with them and, and um, what we've been able to accomplish over the last six years. So this was a very difficult decision. So, but um, I really, uh, and hopefully by August we'll have a, a new uh, replacement who's, you know, going to bring some enthusiasm and energy and that type of thing. So thanks, guys. Diane. <laughs> Is that because I stopped talking? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, I'm going to be miss sitting next to you for the um, past three years. I've sat next to you and had to navigate your iPad for you. So I hope that the Democrats aren't putting you in charge of their <laughs> IT and social media. No, 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 you're hoping they do. <laughs> That's going to be dangerous. Um, I've enjoyed working with you, especially on um, policy and planning, and I've appreciated your sense of humor, which is similar to mine through some of the emails we've chosen. And um, I look forward to, to um, seeing you in the neighborhood. And I also want to give you this gift card for iced tea because you're the only person that shares my passion for iced tea, even the dead of winter. Um, as we'd sit up here Thank where everyone you. had their coffee and you and I would stroll in with our iced teas. So um, good luck, and um, I'm sorry to see you go. Thank you very much. Very nice. I just want to say thank you for uh, helping a newbie along. And... Um, you know, we haven't served together for all that long, although we've known each other for longer than that. But um, I know you'll still be helping me along uh, through life, even though you won't be sitting, although you're way <laughs> down there. Um, I, I wish I could help you with your iPad, but you know, I, <laughs> I, I apparently missed that opportunity. But um, good luck, and thank you so much for everything. Yeah, they are. I did break it. Now I have to give it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that before I forgive it. Just the stand. Oh, OK. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we'll move on. Uh, um, I'd like to make a motion to move into executive session for the purpose of discussing the superintendent of schools evaluation and salary. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? So that concludes the public part of our board meeting. Thank you all for coming and for watching. Good night. budget